We're back with the Super Heavyweight Final here at the 2024 European Jiu-Jitsu Championships in Paris, France. We got Tayani Porfirio on the left side of your screen in the blue gi. Gabriele Pisania in the white gi. So excited for this match. Me we, too. we saw it at the crown a couple months ago. It was very close. Gabriele won on points. Now we get to see it again here at the Europeans. Tayan that came back to the circuit very strong lately. Showing very beautiful jiu-jitsu, better form, stronger, faster. So I'm expecting to see some good moves here. Two black belt world champions. Gabrielli has been one of the most dominant jiu-jitsu athletes we've ever seen compete. Has six black belt world titles. Also has five pan titles, four European titles, one double gold in 2022 and 2023. And every time she competes, she's just further adding to her, her legacy that she's, she's built throughout her career. This division had three competitors, Tiny Porfirio, Gabriele Pisania, and also Yara Suarez, who had some great matches with Gabriele Pisania and Tayani. Good grip here by Tayani. Very fast and strong. Gabriele has a cross grip, which is a very strong grip. For a collar drag possibility. Gabrielli has an amazing collar drag takedown. So we use it countless times in competition. I believe she very good set up. Tani, last time they fought. She's trying to get the reaction to, to apply the, the, the collar bro. Does she need to break that grip on the collar brawler before she can go for the collar uh, drag? Uh, you can still do it because the grip is on the same side. It wouldn't make much difference. If you come off with your weight, your body, that grip that's on her follows her. You know, on the case of Diane. If Diane keeps that grip, when she jumps, she'll still fall forward. Now she changed the grips. Facing for a single leg. Yeah, both has the both colors, which is a little bit limited. Yeah, it's more for the glove for you, so. That's gonna be interesting here, because that's what I would like to be, right? With the pressure. Gabriel's guard is incredible, too. We'll go back to the center. Cross grip. Double unders. Well reacted by Gabriele by holding the bell to stop the legs going up. This is one thing that uh, not many people do, but it's so important. Every time someone double unders you, you need to grab that belt ASAP. So the legs cannot be brought up. And if you can shift the, the grips, that's when the switch happens. Three minutes into this match, all tied up. One advantage apiece, two penalties apiece. Tiny Porfirio on top of Gabriele Pisania. And applying the pressure, hoping that it's not like a wearing Gabriele down, which is, she doesn't look much under pressure there anyway. Tiny needs to do here to make a more effective double under pass. Tiny, the thing is, that grip is not good. I would probably 
put my both hands under between the legs to kind of reset my grips and maybe if I want to do a double lunge a little bit faster because now that belt is stopping the double lunge pass and it's dangerous if you keep chasing that's when you can give the possibility of a triangle so even sweeps or taking the back you know? it's very unlikely that Tyler would pass their guard while Gabriel has the grip while trying to do the the double numbers. So I would probably palm on my both hands back in between the legs, pushing the hips away to maybe make a grip in each side of the knees so he doesn't go to my back and put my knee and start creating pressure to release the maybe go through the middle. With that belt, she's pulling, she's Gabrielle is pulling Tyan to her, right? So by pulling her to her, the legs push against her, so you won't be able to kind of fold Gabriele. Whereas if you put the arms in the middle, you can go through. So go to the triangle position so maybe here. Pull that arm to the center. She has to be two arms now. She needs to put the left arm too. Tiny trying to get some good to stacking up. pressure, but the left arm is stopping the possibility. That would be nice if she put both hands on it. That's the change of the trap that I said before. So that is always on that possibility. And this will waste so much grip as well from the top if you try to keep pushing. And the back muscle tires you out and it can be against it. She put the mini in the middle and pummels both arms, but now there's no grip in the belt. Now it's okay. She has one arm in, see? Four minutes and about 30 seconds left in this one. This is the super heavyweight final for 2024 Europeans. Tiani trying to put the pressure on Gabriele Pisania. Gabrielli, as we've talked about, one of the most winningest competitors in jiu-jitsu history. Has double golded at every major championship she's competed in since the 2021 Worlds. Amazing journey. Yeah, such an incredible story from Gabrielli. And Tiani is going to look to hand her her first loss in years here at the Europeans. Gabrielli wrapping the lapel already. Secure. The entanglement. Match is pretty even with two negatives each and one advantage each. Gabriele is trying to weave that to try to go under. Looks like both Gabrielli and Tiani are trying to push the pace. Our bar attempt now from Gabrielli. Trying to adjust the position. Has the right foot wrapped in the lapel. There we go. Oh, good Very sweep. good sweep. Attempt by Gabrielli. Let's see if she can finish it. Trying to come up to her knee. There she goes. Well defended here by Diane. Now trying to get to free her feet. The baby came up on top. Just push herself away. Knee bar. Tiny trying to go for a toll. Now gets into the 50-50. To the knee bar again. Going back to the knee bar. Oh, that looks like it could be tight. Oh, she well defended that. She's going to definitely get another bunch of Two points for Gabriele Pisania for the sweep. We'll go back to the center. What do you think about the knee ball? Was it an advantage? 
hard to tell. It looked like it could course, have been on based on the angle defend. of it. It did look like Gabrielli tried to defend. That's something I was just so hard for the referees. Referees are so well trained here. So I trust their judgment that it wasn't it wasn't yeah. an advantage. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't, it wasn't. That's leg drag that's already being set. Ah, no anymore. Very soon, the male adult finals black belts start soon. Tiny trying to go for the sweep. Looks like she's trying to go back to that knee bar right here. Comes the back up. attack. Uh oh. Oh, Gabrielli now climbing her hands up. Trying to get to the seatbelt. Tiny holding on to that leg. One minute, 54 seconds left. That's a bad position here for Tyron. Gabrielli in a great spot now. Comes up, she's gonna try to attack the back. Good control, no rush from Gabrielli here. You can tell here Tyane is expecting some attacks for the back and waiting for that so she can get a gap to move out. And Gabriel is very patient, controlling the, the journey. And once again, not focus too much on what this should be. In the end, I mean, not focus in the end too much. She so secure the position, make sure that she has the full control. Playing really smart game here, Gabrielli. With that sheen above the, the leg of Tiny. Tiny just expected to go. Uh, Giving the half guard. Nice recovery by Tiny, but she's going to need to use this position to try to sweep if she wants to win this match. Yeah. She needs to go for the sweep now. There's 30 seconds to go. That's a little more opportunity here. She's under her. Pretty oh. good angle. Oh, but Gabrielli gets her leg out. That's going to be a guard pass. Three more points for Gabrielli Pisania. I think that's going to more the other than side. likely secure her victory. Jumps to the other side. To the mount. Four more points for Gabrielli Pisania. She's going to come away with a pretty dominant victory, 9-0. to zero. Gabrielli wins her fifth Amazing. European title. Gives herself the crown. She's the queen. And she has an opportunity to go for another gold medal. medal excuse me, her sixth at the Europeans later in the open class. Wow. She'll, she'll take on Talita Silva. Who won gold in the middleweight division. But a brilliant performance in the super Beautiful. heavyweight final. Very controlled with... Patience in the execution, the rush, control. Great performance by Gabriele Passano. It's Gabriele Passania secures her fifth European title as a black belt. Great match with Tiny Porfirio. We're going to take a look at a replay here. Very tight match up until the end. Gabrielli pulls to the guard position. Works a beautiful sweep using that lapel control. Comes up to the top position. Scores two points to give her the early lead. Tani tried to sweep back from this 50-50 position. But Gabrielli countered. That beautiful back attack.
ended up passing the guard there, scoring three more points, giving her a five-point lead, and then progressed to the mount to score another four and win that match 9-0 on points. Dominant, a very impressive victory from the queen of jiu-jitsu, Gabriele Pisania.